and welcome to Two Minute Statistics. My name is Dr. Kristen Kensevich, and in this video, we're going to learn about measuring constructs. A construct is a concept that cannot be directly measured. In the social sciences, that might be something like depression, or it might be something like um, hopelessness, where we have to define um, what we're actually talking about in order to measure it. So that's called operationalizing. We have to operationalize or define our construct so that we can have some kind of measurement. The variable is the measurement of a construct in our study. So let's say our variable is depression and we might have decided that a certain set of symptoms define what depression is. You could find that in the, uh, the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual, which is in its fifth um, edition and being revised right now. Um, well, actually, it's in the text revision. You can buy the 5TR. Um, and so there you could look up um, major depressive disorder. You could look at what defines a depressive episode and create a scale that helps measure whether or not someone is experiencing those symptoms. It turns out they have done this. That's um, one, one example is the patient health questionnaire with nine questions. And so there... Um, we could give um, our clients this PHQ-9 and they could take that and we, they would get a score and that would tell us how depressed they are and whether or not they meet the definitions for a depressive disorder. And so we have taken a construct like depression that is hard to measure, we've operationalized it, and then we've come up with a measure that we can use um, for data collection. So that's what measuring constructs is all about. Thanks for watching.